began a ministry, do the outreach, and then they would channel them into you know, the Cantonese congregation. And that's how I met Jin Ho Popo. We have great partnership and collaboration throughout the years with the men in ministry and the Cantonese. So in different events like the Pun Choi, like uh, different outreach. I joined men in ministry uh, since 2010. I met them at the time. She's very sociable. She seemed like she knew everyone in the neighborhood. And I think the more I got to know her, I realized she's a very capable woman. She's very self-reliant. Chen Zifang Gong Gong, yeah. Uh, he is very uh, intelligent, uh, patient, and generous. Mr. Wen, um, he was very weak physically, and he was tall, but thin. There's a lot of joy, but of course they are set back. Sometimes it takes years. It took over almost 10 years for her to open up her heart. Well, a lot more like the Wen couple had that sore parts. So sometimes when the hearts are still hard, what we can do is to wait. Just wait the poor in the Lord and keep praying. That waiting is so challenging. But, you know, we have hope. We hang on, you know, we do what we're supposed to do. We just tell them the good news. And I think the word will soften their hearts. The needs uh, in community, especially elderly people here in Hong Kong, uh, is great. While they still have time, they can know the gospel. Uh, we visit him. Yeah, where he lived. So he lived in a cage home over there. Uh, opens my eyes and know more of where he's come from. Pray for him uh, for receiving Jesus. It was t totally a uh, divine appointment for him. When you ask her if it's everything okay, she says, everything is okay, everything is all right. And I think that's the way of her saying, I don't need Jesus. And when she was admitted to hospital, she accepted Jesus. So when I talked to her about salvation, about Jesus, she was very clear and sure. And then she asked to be baptized. And we baptized her in the elderly home. And that day was, was joyous. Like it was a victorious day. I think it has taught me the frailty of human life. That life is short, but it is an honor to be able to serve the elderly because we talk about the last days a lot. So called teach them the Bible, that they are very uh, good people. And yeah, I learned to humble myself. His wife told me during those three years in Christ, that was the most delighted and precious moment for Mr. Wen living on earth.